On the agenda of the 28th Human Rights Council was a high-level expert panel discussion on the question of the death penalty. Numerous state representatives and NGOs attended this public conference, as well as interested people from all walks of life, here at the UN in Geneva. Professor Akira Maeda, a teacher from Tokyo Zokai University, traveled from Japan to learn more about this delicate topic. Unfortunately, Japan still has the death penalty, and also some countries in East Asia still have it. About 70% of the people of Japan think the death penalty is needed. I think it's important to acknowledge at the beginning that uh, there are particular challenges in the Asian region. Uh, it's also important to acknowledge that we are the one region where there is no regional instrument on human rights and there is no regional mechanism. Among the attendees, the permanent observer of the Holy See to the UN Geneva, Archbishop Silvano Tomasi. The right to life should take priority over everything. And therefore, protection of the individuals and his, his or her dignity is paramount. But I also wanted to add that the greatest predictor of who retains the death penalty in the Americas is not public opinion, it is not the rate of crime, it is colonial heritage. 160 countries have either fully abolished the death penalty or do not practice it. I am an abolitionist. The first reason is the right to life. Secondly, the risk that the court system makes an error. I am for the elimination of capital punishment under international human rights law. There is no evidence that the death penalty deters any particular crime, including drug-related crimes. The ultimate objective of the Human Rights Council, the global abolition of the death penalty. There is always in the Catholic tradition the hope of redemption. People have time to change their heart and make up for some of the wrongs that they have done by using the, the energy and the time that the Lord gives them.